Marlies, and professionally, I'm the former Assistant General Counsel for the State of North Carolina, the equivalent to DEC. Um, I have been a career environmental attorney. I have supported major industrial expansion projects, and I don't take these issues lightly. Personally, because of a blood clotting disorder, I have dead areas in my lungs and frequent hypoxia. If you want to walk 10 seconds in my shoes, hold your breath from now for 90 seconds on the clock, and that's about where my oxygen starts the day. I'm a frequent visitor to this area where I have family, where I walk, live, and breathe, walk, play, and breathe with my local family, as well as pursuing my passion for photography in the beautiful natural areas here. I believe that you, DC, have more legal authority than you have recognized. The preemption that you have referenced at the, in your introduction, the Natural Gas Act preemption, um, has a wide open exception, and that is for Clean Air Act authority. The state's Clean Air Act authority is explicitly preserved in the Natural Gas Act, and I believe that that authority extends to all of your environmental authorities under the Clean Air Act, including a Type 1 super review. You will get a more full explanation, including legal citations. It would take more than three minutes to read all that out loud, so I'm just going to give you that in writing. But I hope that you will engage the support of your general counsel and your attorney general to make sure that you examine the limits of your legal authority the state should exercise the full extent of its authority. Um, if the safety of this project and the permits were ineluctable, as Dominion might contend, then they should step up and be an industry leader and support you in conducting a full environmental review rather than opposing it. <coughs> I believe the state lost uh, its faith in its own authority in a case where it was attempting, under the Public Service Act, to exercise uh, a secret type review of the pipeline project and it was challenged by the gas industry in that authority. Um, however, that holding was specific to that case under that state act. You're acting under a different authority under the Clean Air Act, and your secret, uh, your secret and environmental review um, is preserved there. So I hope that you will consider very carefully before you step away from both your legal power and legal obligations. I think that this community has stepped up with some serious concerns I hear the job concerns. I heard the numbers that were put out before. Those budget numbers are more than half of the total cost of the project. I simply don't believe that those numbers are real. If I thought those numbers were real, uh, I would have to think again, but that just doesn't seem like reality. And it looks like I'm not going to run out the clock, so you won't have the opportunity to support me by shouting time at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of Malika Galat. Uh, while she is also submitting written comments, part of the purpose of a public hearing is for the community to engage with each other. Therefore, I am reading these comments aloud on behalf of their author. Malika Galat has a master's degree in chemistry. Her first language is Hindi. My name is Malika Galat. I live at 133 Valley Lane, Horseheads, New York, 14845. And most important, I am mother of two girls a five-year-old and a month-old. My five-year-old is already suffering from allergies and has breathing issues for which we are already very concerned and for which her treatment is still going on. But now things will get more complicated with her because of Dominion's new market project because we live two miles away from the site. And the cherry on the cake is she will start her kindergarten in September at Ridge Road Elementary School, which is three miles away from the site. And our one-month-old will be inhaling all toxic gases at this age only, so we can imagine how our lungs will develop. These gases can cause many health issues, some of which uh, result from exposure to formaldehyde. It will target lungs and mucous membranes, and it can cause asthma, coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. The World Health Organization classifies it as carcinogenic to humans, and it is also associated with childhood asthma. Health hazards related to formaldehyde are much greater than what we think and read. We all know that these compressor stations emit formaldehyde, but this can also form with chemical reactions, one of which is oxidation of methane. So air pollution will affect us in one way, and now comes noise pollution. The noise pollution that will be created by this compressor can cause cognitive impairment in children, sleep disturbances, and of course, a high level of annoyance. 
In a few words, this compressor is putting our health and our kids' health at a big risk. So I want the DEC to deny the air quality permit and conduct a comprehensive study of the safety and health impact of this project and of all gas pipelines and compressors. Thank you.